it's, it's a mistake to give me a mic. It really is. All right. So I'm, I actually don't even know how much time I have, so I'm going to breeze through this as quickly as possible. I mean, it's supposed to be, I, th I thought it was supposed to be 4.30, but it'll be fine. Oh, we're all running late? Sweet. We can do the same thing. Yeah. William's just going to have to wait. Anybody in here who's waiting for William's presentation, you'll like this one. It'll be fine. So I'm here to talk about Blender Artists. How, how many people here actually visit BlenderArtists.org? How many people have done it in the last week? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm, I'm Jason Van Gumster. I'm, I'm kind of the lead moderator there. Um, anytime where things go really, really well, it's probably not my fault. When things go really, really poorly, it's usually my fault. That's kind of the role of the position there. Um, what I'm talking about here is what we've done in the last year. Blender Artists has seen a lot of interesting changes going since starting actually almost since the last Blender conference. So one of the biggest things was that we had a change in ownership. For those of you that didn't know, for a long time, a long, long time, Blender Artist was basically under the stewardship of CG Cookie. And we've also wanted to have the forum updated and have some more features added to it and make it a little bit easier to moderate. And that's been in the books. That's been in the plans for almost two, maybe three years up to this point. And um, basically, Jonathan and Wes from Blender Cookie they didn't have enough time really to dedicate to Blender Artists to give it that sort of thing that it, that it needed. So at the last Blender conference, they reached out to a blue logoed person that's sitting right there, uh, this Blender Nations logo, in case you're not aware, Bart, uh, and basically said, uh, can, can, can you take it? <laughs> and uh, basically, short answer was, was yes, with some provisos, but, but yes. Yeah. So Bart uh, and Blender Nation is now in control of Blender Artists. Which actually also gives us a couple interesting things as well, because we're not, um, at this, before we were kind of, it was kind of a question we didn't know, we as in the community, Blender Artist was there sort of under stewardship, but there's always a sort of the question mark, well, CG Cookies is a, uh, sort of a commercial entity, and they're trying to sell their educational things, so how does that mix in with that? And there, there was, there was a perception of a conflict of interest, even if there wasn't one. So this kind of helps clear that up just a little bit. And... So in order to pull this off, though, um, Blender Artist is a huge form. It's a gigantic form. And my, one of the biggest things we wanted to do is migrate it from the very aged, crusty, old Blender, uh, not Blender, uh, ooh, mm, the crazy old V Bulletin uh, back, uh, back end to Discourse, which, again, the form is huge, has a lot of, a lot of posts, a lot of things going on there. That migration is difficult, and um, it's going to cost money to get it done. So there was a Kickstarter campaign as part of the transfer of ownership to actually get the migration from vBulletin to Discourse. And it was successful, which is what we did. We took it from vBulletin, and it's kind of telling the type of logo as well, right? It was kind of old and crusty, kind of new and stylish. I mean, you can go with that. Some things did stay the same. I'm doing what I told to do. So yeah, uh, the entire moderation team didn't change. Basically, we just had a change of management above us. But the 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 group of people who were volunteers and whatnot to to moderate and keep and keep the forum running, none of that changed. And that was a really big and useful thing because it's hard to run the site without that. And so, with the migration, we had some stats. The Kickstarter campaign we raised uh, well above. The Kickstarter campaign was for 2,500 euro. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Two, two goals. One was 2,500 for people to migrate up the last 12 months. And this year was... That's right. So yeah, the, 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 the Kickstarter campaign had two, had two parts. The first, the minimum goal was 2,500, and that would migrate the last year's worth of posts. And, and that would basically be it. Whereas getting to the value we did get at, which is 4,920, uh, you know, that, that got us to the point where we could migrate the whole history of Blender Artist and get the whole thing shuffled over there, which consisted of 300 gigabytes of data, roughly 4 million posts, and um, had, to, had to get done twice. And each time it was done took three weeks to do. So it's, it's not an insignificant, it's a, it's a big site, and, and um, it was a non-trivial task to get that to work. Now, in that time, uh, it's, it's unfortunate through a series of 
of uh, mishaps and events, about half of a percent of posts were lost. These were posts, largely ones that had some, some very specific formatting, and unfortunately, one of, my favorite, one of my favorite parts of Blender Artists is the Weekend Challenge. How many people have actually taken part in the Weekend Challenge of Blender Artists? Oh, 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 oh okay, cool. You, you should. So in case you're not aware, the Weekend Challenge works like this. Friday, somebody picks a theme, a prompt of some sort, and by, I think it's Sunday night, Monday morning, you have to have a still image that responds to that. And that's, that's the weekend challenge. And then after that, everybody who participates and whoever is on the forum can vote on the people who put their entries in. And when you win, you get to win the theme for the next week. Right? That's, it's, it's just a challenge. It's no sort of like big contest sort of thing. But it's a fun thing we do within the community. And also, the other thing you win is whoever wins that, they get, the, they get their art shown up in the feature row that says, I'm the Weekend Challenge winner. Some really cool stuff happening there. Unfortunately, because those are polls and they had a lot of attached image ta tagged onto them, those were the types, those were the posts that took the, the most hit in terms of, that's, those are the posts that are in the half a percent, which it really hurts. It hurts so bad. Um, and, and as it stands, um, I don't know if Martin wants to talk about this now or, or later, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get those back. Um, we'll, we'll do that in the question and answers. We can, we can cover that um, if, if anybody has questions on it. <clears throat> so during the, the preparation of the migration, we actually did, did far more than just two tries, but we did like, tests on small bits of data first. And uh, when I started the Kickstarter campaign, someone uh, commented and he said, well, you know, I, I, I see that there's a migration script somewhere, so how hard can it be? And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> you, we'll see about that. And so we found uh, a professional to do it for us. And what we found during the first couple of tries is that that script did not do a good job at any kind of layout at all. It didn't even do attachments, because usually in discourse land, attachments aren't very relevant. It's more about the, the conversation. Uh, but we are a very much like graphics focused community, right? So we've then done a lot of development, making sure the attachments were all there, they were in the right place. Uh, we, we took a lot of spe special formatting into account. But yeah, the, the weekend challenge was going like, an, did an additional step in layout complexity. So that's when it broke. I think we did like at least five or six trials before doing the first one. And it's, uh, yeah, it's like just, it was a really, really hard pro process. Yeah. And, and for, for what it's worth, Bl Discourse has a very different way of handling attachments and images and that Blender Artists, or not Blender, the V-Bulletin doesn't. V-Bulletin, you had a very specific number of images that you had a little quoted for, and you could kind of relink to the same one over and over again, but you couldn't just sort of keep adding more and more images to it. Discourse doesn't care. Just throw more images at it, and, and it'll handle it. And um, so that was, that, that's trying to get that as part of the migration was, was some of the complication there. But we also had some other cha challenges that were, not challenges, changes, I can read, that were, that were also incorporated. So the feature row is way easier to update now. We, we got a custom feature row, and that used to be that I would update it ah, about once a week, actually whenever the weekend challenge finished. Weekend challenge finished, I'd update that one, and then whatever other cool things I found out through the week, I would throw those up on there on the, on the feature row. Now the feature row gets updated with a new image at least once every weekday, Oftentimes, if we find something really interesting, it might be a couple times a day. And on top of that, coupled with the, the feature row, we got the gallery view. So if, if you go to any of the artwork forums or the featured uh, hashtag, it'll show you a gallery view, kind of an art station-y looking gallery view of all the art that's there. It's a really, really pleasant experience for doing that. So if you want to go on Blitter Artist and look at art, I mean, that's, that's a really fantastic way of doing it. And that actually came because we went over um, we, we got more on the Kickstarter money, so some of the surplus from that went to developing that plugin, which um, as soon as it becomes sort of nicely packageable, will be released under an open source license as well, which would be super cool. One of the other cool things, which was a little controversial, uh, was we, we raised the art and support categories. They're the top two categories now on the, the site. So the general forums, the general categories, those are farther down. And I'll get into that, uh, the reasoning for that, the understanding for that a little bit later, but that, that happened. Uh, the other thing that happened, we had Blender ID integration sort of kind of gifted to us in the, in the midst of that. So if you have a Blender ID, 
you can use that to log into Blender Artist. And any of the badges or things that, that you have associated with your Blender ID, like being a contributor to uh, the, the dev fund or those sorts of things, they show up. It shows up next to your name when you click on it. It's kind of, kind of awesome. And we also started, because the Blender Artist actually has a Twitter account that kind of was languishing just a little bit, um, anything that goes to the feature row immediately also gets shared out to uh, the Twitter sphere. That's a word, right? It's a word. <laughs> so it does to Facebook as well? It, you get social media-cated. Um, and, and just to be clear about the way the feature row works, it's not done automatically. We, we have a process where people who are on a moderation team, as well as you get to a certain trust level in the, on the site, you can see a, there's a, like a little lounge form. And one of the threads on there are people saying, hey, throw this one up to the featured row. And so we'll look at it. And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Let's put it up there. And that's, so the, that's, it's a, it's a very specific individual person says that's going to be on the feature row. So it's not an automated sort of thing, which um, kind of makes it nice and personable, I think. So the results, the biggest one by far, I would say, is a much more pleasant atmosphere. And for, for anybody inter interested in wondering why the art and support got pushed forward, part of it is Blender Artists. I mean, it's in the name, right? It's, it's, it's Blender Artists. So putting the art first really, really makes sense from a, from, a, from a contextual standpoint. But what it also means is a year ago, two years ago, if you would have asked me um, about Blender Artists as a forum, as a moderator, I would say, this is a fantastic site. Just don't go to the top two. Just avoid the general forums altogether and go someplace else. Go to the art, go to the support, because those are fantastic parts of the site. And the reason for that is that, for some reason, those two top forums, two top sections, uh, latest news and general discussion, those two sections were magnets for neg negativity. Just, it was just, it's, it's, I don't, I don't want to use the word cesspool, but I just did. Um, <laughs> it, it, it was where everybody went and kind of just, kind of just dumped their shit. And it was not a very pleasant place for anyone to be, share information, be excited about the new stuff coming, be excited about the new versions of Blender, and really discuss it and get into it and have, have really positive, uplifting conversations. It was, just wasn't the place for that. Um, but from what we'd done from moderating Blender, Blender artists years and years ago, there used to be another forum on the site that had that problem. It was the off-topic forum. And that was really, that used to be the magnet for yeah. And that we, we ended up moving that to the bottom of the stack and automatically, like within almost immediately, that section became much less, much less toxic. So the question was, well, what happens if we, if we do that with the other general forums? And it turns out, <laughs> it's great as far as overall positivity within the community. And I'm really, really excited by that change. Um, and then because we moved to discourse, the moderation tools are, are way better. And not just for moderators. I mean, I, I, I love them because it makes my life easier. But it makes it easier for people in the community to, make, to flag posts and very specifically say what's bothering about it. And it used to be, we could flag posts before, right? We could do a report on a post. But it would be like this, it would go to a secret forum where the moderators would discuss it. And you wouldn't really get any feedback as to what happens from that flagging. Now we can actually have a conversation with somebody. Well, you flagged it because of that. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Or, yeah, that's, that's, that's not cool, but we had to figure out a way to handle that. That kind of conversation, you kind of know what happens more readily with stuff that you flag. And it's a lot easier to do the flagging part of that. Also, being able, when you talk about the support sections, being able to explicitly mark a solution as solved and have that be the first thing that you see after the question, really, really useful, incidentally. Um, Anybody who asks a question, if you figure out the answer on your own, post the solution. Share it and other, because I guarantee you somebody else, not now, maybe later, somebody else has that exact same question. So if you post your own solution, even if you figure it out yourself and nobody answered it for you, post your own solution, because I guarantee you somebody else is going to be looking for it and they're going to find it and it's going to be really, really useful. So please, please do that. Don't just delete what, oh, I figured it out. See you guys later. I mean, that's, that's not fun. Um, and then the, the other thing is that because of all of this, because of the increased positivity, because of the focus on art, because of this, the, the migration to discourse, site traffic has increased and um, data storage has actually increased. I believe we're on average adding another three gigabytes a week to, to the server. So that, that may be requiring an update or upgrade sometime in the future. Which brings us to the next point. Um, what's in store for the future, right? So we're, we used to do contests every now and again on Blender Artists. 
we still have the weekend challenge. The weekend challenge just hit its 800th weekend challenge, which is absurd and amazing. 800, I don't know if they're all in a row, but 800 weekends worth of, of, of challenges. That's, that's, an, that's an incredible bit of longevity there. And that's one, like I said, it's one of my favorite parts about the site. But we could do more organized contests as well. I mean, why not? It's, it's, it's all of our artists are here, right? We have really, really strong talent. Why not really drive it to a, a central theme and really sort of play with that? So that's something that we're thinking and playing around with. Maybe there's more rearranging in store. I don't really think so. Maybe there are, there are other categories we could be adding to the site possibly or removing some categories and focusing mostly on using tags on posts because that might be an easier way of organizing them. That, that's a conversation we've been bouncing back and forth and I would really, really like to have some feedback as to which way you think we should go with that because it's, it's, it's kind of still up in the air. And, speaking of increasing storage, Blender Artists, as of today, has a Patreon account because, you know, we're... In <laughs> Yay! Um, I mean, it's, it's, a it's, it's largely a community-run site, right? We, we are valued for that, and the, but it, you got to pay for the server costs, you got to pay for the time to, to keep it up to date, maintain it, and, and moderate it a little bit. And so those, those sort of things, those costs are, are involved there. So we have the Patreon thing. Bart actually posted an announcement for it on Blender Artist. Um, if I thought ahead, I would have put the URL for it there, but, 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 I, but I didn't. But if you go to the site, it's available and you can read it there. Um, but that's the, there are different tiers you can go in there, as well as a way of handling... Um, Commercial posts, right? One of the biggest things about the, the Blender community is the participation, is people being involved and whatnot. We've had a, a, a surge in the last couple of years of people who only show up on the site to, to, to pitch their latest project or their, their add-on or the service that they're offering to Blender people, which is great. I mean, those services are fantastic, but I would like it if you, know, you, you were to be part of the community in doing that. So yeah, I have this thing that I made, I'd be great if I use it, but I'm also giving feedback on artwork. I'm also giving uh, uh, support in the in support area and helping people do better work. That's, that's contributing part of the community. And so we're really trying to uh, inspire people to do more of that sort of thing. Um, and, and if not, we always have the Patreon and you can sort of pay your way towards being commercial. Um, so that is a run through on what we've done in the last year of Blender artists, I'd love, I have a little bit of time because everyone in front of us ran, ran, ran over, so we can run over just a little bit. And uh, I'd love to hear, there's a microphone here, so if anybody has any questions or stuff, I can throw this at you or, or walk it to you gently. And um, clever insults are also in there, but they have to be clever. <laughs> Crickets, fantastic. All right, well, in that case, Thanks.